Alrighty guys, hello and welcome back to another video on the channel. I'm trying a different style of video today, essentially. I'm doing this all like green screening kind of thing. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. But uh, yeah, basically guys, I'm going to be telling you guys some reasons why you should be looking forward to Aether Gazer, or the global release of the game. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel as well if you're new guys for a bunch more content on Aether Gazer because I'll be making a ton of it when it eventually comes out. The first thing you should be excited for in this game is the characters themselves. The character designs are all amazing, they're honestly some of the best character designs I've seen in a while. Obviously there are other games that are really good character designs like Punishing Grey Raven and stuff, and obviously one of the things you guys are going to draw comparison to is that game. Punishing Grey Raven is very similar to this game, and Aether Gazer is very similar to this game, but at the same time, they do a bunch of things very, very differently on their own. That being said, the character designs in this game are honestly kind of sick. I love them a lot. Uh, we're going to be getting one of the first characters. I can't remember the character name, but it'll be a picture of it up on screen or showcase in the background. Uh, that character looks awesome. I want him. Please give him to me. Uh, but I believe that's the first global banner that we'll be getting in game. And because the game is being developed by Yon Shi, the developers of the Lane, you know there's going to be a bit of that, uh, bit of that spice, if you know what I mean, uh, which is really awesome. And that's going to be showing in the character designs. They're there is Jiggle in this game, guys. Get ready for that shit. That's gonna be cool. And the second major reason is gonna be the combat itself. One of the biggest problems I have with a lot of gacha games uh, is I like difficulty in my games, or at least a little bit of difficulty. I'm not saying like Dark Souls level difficulty. I like Dark Souls games, but not that kind of difficulty. But at the very least, this game has some a semblance of challenge, and that is a big thing. And the reason why this is so important in gacha games is because most of the games are casual, or the big games like Genshin are saying, no, we only cater to the casual, we're never gonna give you that end game experience. And this is important because if we can show gacha game developers, we want difficult content, we want difficult end games, then they're gonna, and show them that they're gonna be profitable, then they're gonna turn around and start making those games for us. So if you're a part of that group of people that wants difficult gacha games, like Punishing Grey Raven, like what Aether Gazer is gonna be, or like what Wuthering Waves is going to be, then this is gonna be a really important thing. Because even if you don't play Aether Gazer yourself, this is something that you should be paying attention to, just for the fact that if you like that kind of niche of gacha games, it's gonna be something you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to, to see if it's gonna do well or not, and see if we might get future games that'll be those kind of games that you might like. And the third reason is the game is being developed by Yong. She. And the reason why this is important, if you've played Azure Lane, which is their first game, you know how free-to-play friendly that game is. And that is a really, really good thing. And hopefully this gets in some semblance or some way or form gets transferred into Aether Gazer. And I'm hoping that it does. And it seems like from what we can tell so far, it most likely will be. And the final reason why I would say that this game is super worth is this game's amazing combat system. There are so many well-designed characters in this game that it is honestly insane. You guys need to wait and see until we see some of the later characters in some of the later combat and some of the combos the moves you can pull off the different animations and skills they get kind of insane they get more complicated there's all these in-depth mechanics and you have to like fight these cool bosses like the combat in this game is nuts and it's something that you're going to really really love or kind of hate if you're not into those kind of games but i would say if you enjoy punishing great raven you're going to love this game a lot and that's going to be something you're going to want to check out one thing I would say that it can be a potential negative is this game is not got a PC client and it is not potentially getting one yet. However, I'm going to turn that statement into a positive. The reason being is they've technically, they haven't announced that they're doing it like officially, but they've basically, well, actually, no, they actually technically did actually, what am I talking about? They basically said they're working on it. So it means we're going to get one. We just don't know when. Any PC client game we can get, especially for games like this, is going to be awesome, it's going to be sick, and it's going to be something that I look forward to and you guys should be looking forward to. Anyways guys, that's going to be all for today's video, hopefully you all enjoyed. Don't forget to go check out the Discord community yet again, uh, if you guys want to check out a fun little mobile gaming community that you guys can essentially just join and have fun with. Anyways guys, hope you had a good one.